award about six years ago now for best actor. That's pretty exciting. Uh, yes, yeah, making the making, making the shift up. Um, uh, yeah, I mean it was it was exciting enough doing the play in itself, and uh, it was sort of the most satisfying and, and thrilling professional experience of my life. So this is just a, a very delicious cherry on top. As for someone who mixes their career between TV, film, and theatre, uh, do you think that the line between the the, the, the three are also is more blurred now than it ever has been? Uh, I guess uh, I guess not in the terms of the, the the tools that you need to do the job, but in terms of I think the fluidity that uh, actors are afforded to be able to go between the media, yeah, it's might maybe easier. But uh, essentially, the job for us is is just the same. It's it's getting into other people's skin and shoes and uh, creating characters, and how you put that across differs from the media. But in terms of uh, in terms of the intrinsic seed of the job, it's the same. It must be brilliant to be in an event here to see this many people out to to celebrate. You know, one of Britain's most kind of cherished art forms. Yeah, I mean, I hope they haven't all just come down from the London Marathon, but uh, uh, I, I presume they're here, they're, here, they're here because they're theatre enthusiasts. And uh, I mean, the theatre does have uh, an incredible amount of devotee. And it doesn't always get the column inches that that that, um, that other media do. But uh, you know, people are as passionate about this as about anything. And um, this talk that she told you for may be the next Bond villain. Do you think he'd be good at being a Bond villain? He'd be good at anything he did. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure he'd be fantastic. But I don't know anything. Um, what sort of <laughs> qualities do you think make up a good Bond villain? Um, uh, do you work for Bond News? <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Um, uh, I, d I, I don't know. Uh, uh, there's usually a sense of mystery uh, or um, enigma about them, uh, and Chiwetel has got got that depth in spades. What, what, are there any films uh, that you'd most like, really like to see adapted onto the West End stage? Because there's been a, a flurry recently. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're doing all right for that. I'm not sure we need any, <laughs> any more particularly. Um, Uncle Buck, I could, I could do that. I could do the John Candy role. Uh, if anyone's thinking of signing that up, um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Three, three out of four of the best actors nominees are for Shakespeare plays. What do you think this says about, about Shakespeare today? Is it still, still rains? You know? I think he might be, I might have something. Uh, <laughs> I think the fact, yeah, the, the fact that he's still be he's still being done after 400 years, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll still be done in another 400 years' time. Um, and uh, I think that's, that's, you know, the fact that Coriolanus, Henry V, Iago have all been nominated. That you, it does, you do need to have a decent part to have a chance of being nominated, and he, he tended tended to write decent parts by the bucket load. Did you have any sort of pre-performance rituals to help you get into character? I tend to try and leave everything till the last minute, uh, as the last minute as possible, really. So, uh, no, it's just remembering to put my clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.